Hi guys, this is Erica, and um, um, my name on the internet is Aki anyway, and I'll try to do a small tutorial for my because a lot of people requested it. Uh, how to draw Harry. This is my first video tutorial, so I'm sorry for my English or everything. I'm Italian, so in my English not that good. I'm trying to do my best. Okay, so first of all, if you want to need, if you want to draw Harry, you need to have a picture of Harry. Yeah, that sounds simple, but some people try to do it without a picture, so that's not so easy. Okay, um, let's start with the, the shape of the face. We can we can trace it directly on the. If you want to under the first times, so if you want to understand how the face is made, you can try to trace a picture, and you can see Harry as a a really square trace, like uh, angular trace. I'm sorry, I'm not sure how to to say it, and. Another important thing to notice is uh, how did the hair are attached, like this, and had the nose, the shape of the nose, like it's like a small V, B, and here uh, perfect, like like this. So we go on another another layer. And we we try to to draw our our shape on the face. Like this. We trace for the for the eyes the line and a general line that that sign where our nose and the center of the mouth and the forehead like this so I'm I'm do usually do cartoons so I'm not drawing your Harry realistically you can check it's pretty styles art she's really really amazing for realistic stuff and I link her YouTube video YouTube channel I mean uh, here So just have to the eyes are pretty round Harry's eyes uh, they are not they don't have a particular uh, shape to be honest uh, but like if Louis's eyes are really small Harry's eyes are bigger and you have the nose shape like we we have seen the earlier we have this V we have the uh, I don't know how it is called in English I'm sorry and the other part of the nose like this and we have the lips he has pulp lips so we have uh, the superior and inferior lip like this try to maybe to round a bit the shape of the face can okay, suck a bit but uh, I'm sorry Like this is really really quick just to make you understand how to work with a picture yeah there is you can see the lines 
and shared Okay, uh, hair are really important to characterize Harry because, you, you, as we know, his hair is a really characteristic of him, always has been. And I love to draw hair particularly, so yeah, it's pretty fun. Um, okay, so uh, Harry's hair are basically waves. You, you can try to draw a lot of uh, circular lines and like S and give them a shape. Try to understand how they, they work like, like this. Maybe to ex if you want to cartoonize, you want to exaggerate some characteristic of Harry, some characteristic of his we share, like see this line, these lines. Like this. I hope you understand guys, I, I'm not really sure. I do this uh, automatically because I I practiced it a lot in the in the past, so now it becomes pretty pretty quick. But at first you don't have to worry, this will take a lot of time. You have to understand how every space works, how his characteristic features works, uh, his head the dimension, proportions, everything. It's not easy, but you learn. You just take time and practice, really. You don't have to be talented or anything. Every person you see that is able to draw is, is able because they practiced a lot in the past. I was... Uh, my drawings are, were really bad at first. Like everyone, every other people, but if you practice a lot, you'll see the difference. Also, in short time, I started to do really, really a lot when uh, I joined the One Defendant, and since then, I improved so, so much because I started to draw like basically every day, and the difference is really incredible. I know it's hard sometimes to find. Um, to find time, to find uh, inspiration, and all, all this stuff, but, but guy, um, if you practice a lot, if you keep your old drawings, and um, after a lot of uh, after a bit of time, a few weeks, you go back and see your old drawing after you have practiced. You see the difference, and I'm not joking. It's like this. It's just that easy. And okay, so now I try to car to exaggerate his feature and cartoonize a bit more. So I'm going with my memory because. Uh, Because I drew him so many times that now I have I basically have him in my mind. Don't forget dimples, they are another characteristic of Harry, they're really important. You draw. So see square faces, square face, no faces. 
uh, square face and the hair important to draw the hair, the important thing I think are quick traits, quick strokes I mean um, yeah, short and quick strokes and this is basically it Oh, and an important stuff uh, thing is Harry's broad shoulders. I think that's the, the word. He's he has amazing shoulders, to be honest. Then he has tattoos, but I'm too lazy, so he won't, he's in show. He's not showing his tattoos in this drawing. <laughs> but yeah. So that's that. These there are little things that are characteristic of a person that you will have to use to characterize him or her, and to make you recognizable, recognizable as a, as a cartoon. So Arya's features are his. Here is uh, his Joe. His dimple, his uh, this the the, the, um, the eyebrows. He has his eyebrows are the this shape are really not too thick. They are like triangular. If you if you notice, they are basically like this. And his eyes are pretty round. You can help yourself with a with a circle and use it to draw the the eyes shape. Um his nose his is like this. I don't know really how to describe, but you can you can see you need to like, to observe what are you drawing to to try to redraw it like he is. That's why it's always better to start for from a realistic uh, from a real picture and not maybe for from another drawing. Like if you are starting it. If you are already good, you can start to try uh, and copy other drawings because you already know how anatomy is, how realism is, so you can change what reality is. If you don't know the base, if you don't know reality, you can't change and try to make something different, more cartoonized or comic style. like. I think that I think that's the best thing. Uh, another important thing is Harry's forehead. He has a big forehead. If you draw his hair, if you drew his hair like this, it wouldn't have looked like Harry because Harry's forehead is pretty big, and he has distance from from my eyebrows are not eyebrows are not attached and not like this. He's really angry. Uh, yeah, and uh, his lips, as we said before, they are not thin. So you, so yeah, it's another characteristic of him. Um, that's pretty much it. I don't know, he has more ears. Okay, ears are all often, often uh, covered by his hair. So that's not, they're not always visible. But if you throw him with the bun, 
hair bun yeah, you you see them so hair is shape count small ears and we get the bun you always remember the line the hairline so the the ears for bun will start from that line and basically grow go like this and then you have the bun and that's basically it okay I'm, I'm really sketching really quick so if you want I could do a line tutorial I'm not that good so with lines I'm, I'm still learning so no uh, if you want I could try so here So thank you guys for watching. I hope this uh, was useful somehow, and uh, I hope you you try it. And maybe if you want to make me see what you've done with it, it will be great. I really appreciate it. I appreciate that what I do is useful. So don't be afraid to and say no. Oh, she won't like my drawing, or oh, my drawing suck. Guys, it's normal at first that you doing suck. Uh, I'm <laughs> I'm explicit, but yeah, that's true. And uh, it's normal that you don't like your art because you can can really you'll start to appreciate your art only with time. I when I first started to do in the fandom, I used to hate my art. Everything I drew uh, was awful and uh, really really bad. And but people liked it somehow because everyone has a style and everyone likes different stuff. Some people won't like your drawings, but other people will. And you understand that not everyone will hate your drawings and not everyone will like it. You have critics, but you have also appreciation and appreciation. And so be uh, be calm, uh, be. Uh, don't, I don't, don't have the term right now, but yeah. Uh, be happy what do you do, and it's normal if it's if it's bad at first. It's totally normal. Don't worry at all. And please keep drawing if you like it. If you like drawing, you don't draw because you have to or because you want to to be famous like. Because there are some people that ask me, uh, why, how you became famous in the fandom? And I'm like, I don't know. I just posted my drawing, uh, uploaded my art, and what I like to do. I do this in private. Sometimes I don't even upload it. Um, because it's not necessary. Because I do it for myself. I do sketches and trials for myself. And sometimes I do the... Uh, I do complete drawings and I want to upload it because I want to share with people and I know some people appreciate it. So, um, to do it because you want to, to improve, because you like what you do, because you want to maybe make people smile or being emotional, stuff like that. That's important, not being famous uh, in a fandom because being famous is something like you can be famous but you can your art can't be really good like you can be really good and not be famous so that's not really really related just do it for yourself if you want to upload it upload it if you want to keep it for yourself keep it for yourself just be happy when you draw that's so I think that's the the most important thing and be relaxed and not to worry too much about the result because at first the result won't be good but with time you'll see you'll see improvement 
So thank you for listening to me. I hope my language is uh, understandable. And so tell me if you want me to do other stuff like that, like this, if you understand what I'm saying, if you don't understand what I'm saying, if you want other tips, if I did something good or wrong, because I'm I'm not sure what you guys understand from what you what I do, because for me it's pretty uh, uh, it's pretty normal to do to those in a way, but I don't understand that someone is not used to it. So sorry for the long rant, but I think this is important stuff for everyone to know because people keep asking me that. So bye guys and thank you again for listening to me. A lot of love.